Hey everybody, it's Az here with Mythic Games. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to be playing some Solomon Kane today. And joining me, I have game designers of Solomon Kane, Babbitt. Hello, Babbitt. Hi. Hi, guys. We've got Deal as well. Hello again, everyone. Hello, guys. So, a few things before we get into it that I want to make sure you guys are aware of is we're doing something a little bit special this time. Solomon Kane's Pledge Manager is open now on GameOnTabletop.com. And to celebrate that, we wanted to come to the table with something a little bit different to the gameplay we've shown before. We're going to be doing just a single chapter, just one, that's right, yeah, yeah. Um, from the Footfalls Within. within. Um, so we're just taking one element out of it because it's going to be something rather special. I don't want to give really too much more away at this point. Please no. Um, <laughs> so just keep in mind that the Footfalls Within is one of the add-ons for Solomon Cain that you can get on the Pledge Manager if you are interested in it. Um, if you're worried about spoilers, this is going to be one of the kind of climactic chapters. So if you are worried about spoilers or if you've read the books before, you'll probably already know roughly what's going to be happening towards the climax of Footfalls Within. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be focusing on just the one chapter today. It's worth noting everything you see here is still prototype. So these tiles not officially the final art or indeed the final tile lays out. Of course, these will be this size in single segments, but they'll be double sided. And of course, we're looking really, really great. These are just some tests for us, but we wanted to show it to you guys as soon as we could. Um, so, Babas, you want to set the scene a little bit for what stage of the story we're currently at? Sure. So the, the story that we're playing today is um, it can be found in the footfalls within. Mm -hmm. And sadly, our protege, Solomon Cain, has been caught, has been captured mm -hmm. by Arab traders slave traders and uh, so they packed him up and then they created a procession and mm -hmm. they actually want to go to Arabia mm -hmm. to sell the slaves to the slave market. Okay. However, they happened to pass by an abandoned tomb. Mm -hmm. And that's where the story begins. Awesome. Um, so one other thing I want to say is this is part of the Africa box set. So that's something you're interested in. This is that specific expansion. So I'm going to jump into the chapter card and we're going to run through the current setting. So a procession of slaves approaches an ominous tomb. Adamant and greedy, the leader grabs a hammer and marches towards the gate. And I'm going to read through in Baba so you can show us what's on the board to begin. So we've got two shadows. Oh, one here and one down here. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Solomon Cain down there and we're using uh, this is actually sort of the the African Solomon King this isn't the the original and it's not the Juju staff one this is him with his musket this traveling pack exactly you can use the Solomon King of your choice whenever you're playing <laughs> um, we've also got Yusef who's one of the kind of leaders Yusef yeah he, he's a scholar oh okay so he's a bit more uh, well to do than the slave slavers and the precisely okay we've also got Hasim B. Syed so he's at the front. So he's the leader of the hammer. He's the, the one who's taking us yeah. to this tomb. Okay. Uh, we've also got four Arab slavers. So one, two, three, four. Guys with the whips. Yeah. Not hard to miss. Keeping everything in line. <laughs> we have four tribal villagers. One, two, three, okay. and four. And they're essentially unwillingly being brought along here. Sadly, yes. We've also got two exploration tokens that we need to add onto the map. Perfect. That's it. Um, and then we've got 14 darkness cards that are going to tell us how many rounds we have to mm -hmm. play. Um, and a couple of new things that I'll mention here briefly. So the rules are evolving, a lot of play testing is happening. And some of the things I skipped over here are actually keywords that are new. So we have the keyword wanderer. You want to mention guys briefly what that means? Sure. Yeah. Uh, wanderer means mm -hmm. that um, at the end of our turn when we mm -hmm. flip our token, yeah. um, before we draw a darkness card, mm -hmm. We all the miniatures, because they're classed as wanderers, okay. will move one space towards their objective, okay. which is these two exploration tokens. Got you. And just to say that these two exploration tokens in this chapter represent um, the big lock. Yeah. The big, yeah. And the key thing is, of course, the chapter card gives you everything you need to just get down and play, but the story book will give you all this extra information about the story that we've given you verbally and the extra details if you really want to know what it all looks like and what has seems driving him and all the, 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 the plot beneath it all. So that's available if you want to delve into it. Sure, it's up to your choice. We also have to reveal a darkness card. I'm oh, sorry, discovery card. And we have a chunky discovery deck yes, for this chapter. So I need Bef to reveal before seven you, five. Before you begin, okay. though, as there is one more keyword that we need to explain. Oh to yes, you, yeah, oh. to the people. Vandal. It's vandal. Okay. So yeah, and vandal. It mm -hmm. relates to wanderer. So when a wanderer um, starts his turn mm -hmm. on a space with an expiration token, yeah. it will vandalize it. Okay. And what the Vandal does, it removes one expiration token mm -hmm. from the board. So this is something that could actually be used if Solomon was trying to find something. They could be kind of like covering their tracks if they were chasing someone, or they could be distracting him, exactly. or just causing exactly. issues mm -hmm. and removing opportunities for players to yeah. interact. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And in this instance, um, our leader is trying to hammer the door, hammer the lock off the, off the tomb. And okay. the Vandal trade is always key 
to a specific discovery card. Okay. So awesome. we okay. Again, we'll say that we're still very much in that development stage, so you may see new keywords and things popping up. So you can let us know what you think below, mm -hmm. and we'll be adding that stuff throughout the Pledge Manager to more gameplay and things like the rulebook updates and stuff like that. I feel like I just realized I hadn't actually mentioned that we do have an, a quite a simple objective here because right now we are part of this unwillingly slave train and our objective at the moment is simply to break free. Um, it does say that we have two potential outcomes from the end of this chapter. Uh, I'm assuming a positive one and a negative one. Um, assuming. These guys obviously know this really, really well so you guys will kind of have to come on my journey as I discover a little <laughs> bit of this. Um, but for now, our objective purely is to break free of our bonds and, and kind of get out of this situation. Yeah. Okay, so revealing 705 then. So, oh, tied hands. Solomon can't fight or be moved by virtues. Mm -hmm. Damn. Um, it does give us a, an inherent action that we can share as virtues, though, to explore. Now, when Solomon Cain makes an explore test, players add the following modifiers and consult the table below. So we add a strength modifier of plus two per expiration token on this card. And one of two things will happen with this explore test. Um, we'll either put an expiration token on this, so it's going to kind of build up over time, um, or we'll, we'll break free. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so assuming a 12 test, which is what we need to break free, is going to be something that we're going to struggle with early, but hopefully over time we'll get a chance <laughs> exactly. to. Get so to this you. stays in play until disabled, so th that tied hands thing is something we can all interact yeah. with. Yeah. Okay. Um, probably, yeah, I, I must admit, uh, breaking free sooner rather than later sounds pretty, pretty positive. Yeah. Are we all set up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need to grab give these a wee shuffle. Now we're we're just jumping straight into this chapter. We currently have uh, justice, prudence, and temperance. We also have courage, who's not being played in this scenario and this chapter. So she is off to the side, and we've kind of flipped over a couple of her cards to show that we've used them. We're starting as you normally would when you play the game, which is to deal five cards to yourself and choose whether you want to keep that hand or not. Um, I actually changed my hand, so. Um. I have a lot of light to place, um, which, but I also have a talk. Um, and actually, I, I didn't mention this to you guys at home, but because we have two named characters of specific interest, we can engage in discussions with both Yusuf, the scholar, or with Hasim, uh, the kind of caravan procession leader. Yeah. I'm not so keen on that. I must admit that my personal opinion is I don't want to rile him up. Mm -hmm. He's got all <laughs> the guys with the big whips. Um, so I'm going to hold on to the talk and light, actually. Mm -hmm. I will put a top three for, down. For Prudence, I have chose to place Prudence on the board in my right hand slot. Okay. On my left, I've got Modify any track by one. It's just awesome. quite a general ability. And, and actually, so I'll mention very quickly, the tracks, again, dictated uh, by the cards, start at six for Strength, six for Clarity, six for Compassion, and four for Danger. So at the moment, we're not in any immediate, no. apart from a back of a hand or a whip, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and as far as I'm concerned, my board is concerned, uh, I've got an Explorer 3 and an Explorer 1, because Excellent. we'll start be exploring. That's, that's great. Yep. Yeah. We break free. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Okay, well here's here's the board set up. So here's the possession. It's going to be making its way towards the trim entrance. And right now our only objective is to break free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do we want to start then? So Babis has a good amount of exploration. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if we should feed him. So how many dice would you need to perform both of yours if we got really lucky? So uh, four dice. Four so dice would yeah, you? Yeah, if, if you only give me one die and then I get a bit lucky, I can actually do it twice. Awesome. So maybe we have you go second or third then? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, right now, I could engage in talking. So do you want to go first, Deal? Maybe yeah, give that's us fine. dice. Yeah, first. that's that would good. Be great. I'll so I'm going to be third. I'll take second. And yes, and so this, this tied hands ability essentially is available to any of us. It requires two dice, so that's a pain and determination in this case. Um, and that's available to all of us. Um, but we can't store them on this or anything. It has to be done like any other action. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Right, should I kick us off? Yeah, let's do it. 14 rounds, essentially, 14 darkness cards to yeah. do this. Two fear and one determination. Okay. Um, what's best for you, Boas? So I would just say that determination is a, is a key phase for me. Mm -hmm. Fear is, is great for me if, well, you, if, if you want to need to. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And so I'm just going to reserve that one for later. Okay. okay. Um, and quite a simple turn, but that's it. I'm going to flip my token. So before darkness plays, wonders activate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So essentially, they're going towards their point of interest, their objective. Precisely. Yeah. So they're all going to move towards. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. If you want to grab everyone else there. And we're also in wonder status at the minute because essentially our movement's being controlled. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I very much like the, these keywords and these, these behaviors and mechanisms and how mm -hmm. it changed. We saw that. I, I should say as well, forgive me guys, if you are really interested in all the in-depth rules, you can get the rule book on the Kickstarter page um, over, over on Kickstarter. But also we did do some gameplay videos you can see on YouTube where we go into more detail about how everything works. We're not going to be really focusing on how the game generally plays in this video. We're going to be focusing on any new stuff that's cropping up and just enjoying the, the chapter. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's it. Now we have a darkness. Let's go. No, I'm not sure if I like you flipping darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I've just talked about the previous videos and it spawned that memory where I'm like, hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> go on then, go on. Hmm. He didn't hmm. smile, so it's not that bad. The shadow farthest from Solomon hmm. Cain moves yep. two to engage him. Okay, so this one is, this is one big space, two and three, and this one is one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So this one will move two to engage him. Yeah. Okay, so move to there. And then we get to spawn Y. Oh, we get... But well, no. Wait, our maximum. Yeah, but so we are at our maximum. So. Uh, you guys can't quite see it, but at the minute, with danger of four, the maximum shadows we can have is two, and we have two on the board, so we don't need to worry mm -hmm. about that second. We're lucky. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. Awesome. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's, yeah, it's it is over to me. Let me grab three dice. So I currently have one fear donated by Deal, so I would love some bravery and some determination. There is a bravery. Actually, there's two bravery and a fear. That's a little overkill, unfortunately. Um, I'm. Oh. I could do an explorer of one, actually, potentially, with this. I think it's worth it. I mean, even, even if it doesn't get the 12, which is probably <laughs> very unlikely to do, it still will start adding those counters sure. and help us. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm going to reroll the, the fear anyway, just in case. What would be better for you, actually? Sorry, Babas. Uh, uh, fear or bravery? Bra right? Bravery works great right for Okay, me. then, yeah, I will definitely reroll the fear. And if I can get myself a determination or a wild faith. I do get determination. Ooh. Okay, so I now have the options for a talk of three, and I can donate your bravery, or I could do an explore of one and still donate you something. Exploring or talking. We're currently we're currently standing right beside Yusuf. Maybe we could use this opportunity to talk to him before we kind of anything happens. But I'm also worried about not getting out of our bombs before. So so I feel like Babis has got lots of explore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's we got a good attempts of Babis to try and break free. So while we can talk, I would say. Use justice's mm -hmm. rational. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Besides, it's it's justice. Just whisper to Solomon's <laughs> ear. Have him talk to somebody. Okay, okay, I love it. So I will allocate my bravery and my determination fear here, and I will pass to donate this bravery Ooh, to you guys. Thank you very much. And we'll do a talk of three. So I, I guess I'm adjacent to Hasim as well. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So I could talk to him, but I, I, my personal opinion, if you guys are all right with it, is I don't really want to risk it. <laughs> uh, and he has higher talk checks. He, need, he needs to have higher ah, numbers. It was dictated by the, the chapter mm -hmm. card. So yeah, so yeah, I can see here um, Yusef, if we can get a six or higher, we're going to get something good, hopefully. If mm -hmm. we get up to five, mm, something else is going to happen. It depends on whether you feel intimidated by the Sheikh himself. Oh, or see, now, <laughs> you've, now, you've said, now you've said that, I kind of yeah, want like... He, he's the leader. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Yusuf and see what information I can garner, garner from him. And um, so, three is the base. Mm -hmm. Currently, uh, clarity. Sorry, compassion. Compa no modifier. No modifier. Um, and there's nothing nearby. There's no virtues nearby. So we just use three plus an event card. Precisely. Okay. Let's give us the event number for the nemesis. So it's six. A three. Okay. Awesome. So that means we have to look in the discovery deck and grab seven o four for Yusuf. So seven o four. Okay. 704 says, souls in resonance, the Puritan sees in Yusef what normal eyes cannot. The proud Haji feels too that something ominous looms over the area. We've got to reveal 707 first of all. Oh wow. So yeah, he is hopefully going to give us some information here. Yeah. Oh, no, he's not going to give us information. The Staff of Solomon. So this is going to remain in play. So, so he's basically helping us like channel or be aware of what's happening? Yeah, so the souls in resonance thing um, portrays the similarities that those two people have together. Oh, okay, okay. So he's a scholar mm -hmm. and, well, he's a Muslim scholar, he is a Catholic Puritan, yeah. but even more so, they are still connected in their battle against evil itself. Mm -hmm. So, And this has given us a discovery card which actually has, I can see straight away, places for light to be put on. Yeah. Um, and if we get uh, four light, we'll get pluses to our fight test, and if we get five light, we'll get uh, plus two to our fight test. Yeah. Um, we also get plus one compassion from having this conversation, so that's going to put our compassion to seven and give us plus one modifier. And then we get to place one light straight away onto the Staff of Solomon. There you go. Nice. nice. We still don't know why we need that light for. But he, yeah, he's aware, and we mm -hmm. are now aware, doubly so, that mm -hmm. something is wrong with this tomb. Exactly. And the Staff seems aware as well. 
it's, it's that's gluing slightly. Cool. Mm. <laughs> that's really awesome. So wait, now we kind of have uh, an explorer to break free of our bonds, and then we also have the potential to add light. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm going to, in that case, um, replace my card with a place two light, nice. and I'll drop nice. a new card. I've got some movement for Solomon in the future. And that was the end of my two turn. So we need to do some wanderers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So everyone just continues moving towards. So this, this is one space. Space. And again, just a reminder to everyone: these these boards are just really for playtesting and for us to kind of get a feel for everything. So it's they will be much more gorgeous than this in the final final version. Cool. Okay. Love it. Darkness card. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. So we got one enemy adjacent to yes. Solomon. So Here. that shadow engages Solomon. So he's going to essentially move into our spot and yeah. trigger an event. And there you go. Guys. Oh, thank you so much. Randomly rearrange the player order. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You were the last okay. player to go. So go. Plus one danger. Mm. Um, not such a fan of that. Up to five and potentially up to three shadows now yeah. as well. And we got the shadow farthest from Solomon Kane moves to, to threaten him. Oh, you're having a laugh. So this one back here is going to yeah. move, well essentially just one into this yeah. space, right? So he's going to move up to there. Mm -hmm. And given the fact that our threshold has increased, we can spawn X. Oh, well we lost one because it, it pops. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're definitely, definitely yeah. getting a shadow. Okay. And that's it. It feels ominous as we enter the mausoleum. I love the, the way you say, that's it as another <laughs> shadow appears. <laughs> over. I, just I just realized it's the shadows. I hadn't been thinking about the shadows at all or putting our virtues on the board. I'd purely been thinking about Solomon uh -huh. and what he's up to. Mm -hmm. And now there's a shadow directly in front of us. But my lady servitors populate the, the, the board and I really, I really have fun <laughs> when I'm watching that happen. <laughs> okay, make okay. something awesome happen. So get us, get us out of these yeah. bonds, Bubba. Okay, let me try to do that. Okay. That looks good. That, that looks really good because I can explore one yeah. and I can do that twice. Especially if I if I flip that mm -hmm. die over here like that. Yeah. I can explore one and then explore one again. Okay. And I can reserve that die for future awesome. actions. I love so it. So I'm gonna explore, explore one. And so again, because so even though the card the chapter cards tells us that there were two expiration tokens, there's no expiration test to be found in the card, which means they are on the board, but we can't interact with them. But we have the tied hands expiration mm -hmm. to, to do it. So this starts at one. One. Uh, we have no positive modifiers. Clarity, no. no. However, we have a negative one. We have a shadow beside So us. that's a zero. Okay. And we draw a four. Okay. For the total of four. So on the tied hands, it basically says up to 11, you put an expiration token in this card. And that means in the future, we'll get plus two mm -hmm. to try and get out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're so getting yeah, there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I do, I do this a second time. Okay. So explore one. Mm -hmm. Again, explore zero because we have a minus one. From the shadow, player. yeah. And that's four plus, plus the two, two we yeah. now have, yeah. That's six. Again, it's under 11, so we're just... We're not breaking free. I, I hope we're being stealthy about this and not just <laughs> making a big deal. Okay, so we have a plus four now on the tight mm -hmm. hands for next next time. That's good. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to put my Explore 5 <laughs> here. Least. I'm going to put my Explore 5 just to make sure that we break free in Great. the end. So. Okay, that'll give us a nine starting point. Yeah, okay, that should hopefully. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I'm done. Okay. So uh, now the, the Wanderers move. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that we can do, so we have told something mm -hmm. about a, a, a shadow populating the same space mm -hmm. with different miniatures. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the movement is concerned in the wonder or any kind of uh, behavior that we not control directly, we are free to choose how and which miniature to get activated first okay, and foremost. Yeah. So uh, given, the ch given the fact that we really wish this scenario to go on, mm -hmm. then we, we can choose Solomon Kane, we okay. can elect Solomon Kane to move, Enter the same space as, okay. the, as the shadow, mm -hmm. and then have it pop. And the other option would be to to essentially activate these guys first, and they would be frozen because of the shadow. Yeah. So we have we have essentially two choices: to either let the possession kind of move on and trigger an event, Precisely. or to kind of hold a few of them in place because mm -hmm. of that darkness. Yeah. Okay. Do you recommend it? I'm. I'm I, if the game designer <laughs> recommends a play, you just go with that play. <laughs> so I'm more than happy with this. Let's face our fate then. Because okay. yes, in, interestingly, I would have been like, eh, let's keep Hasim away from the door a little bit longer. But then I also don't want more shadows to populate the board. So yes, I'm absolutely fine with Let's merge our essence with the darkness. Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to corrupt you all in the end. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm saying no, I don't want to move Solomon. I'm going to go against your vote. And I'm going to make Deal make the deciding vote okay. here. No, I agree. I think we should move Solomon in there. See? Yep. We're becoming more and more. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Deal! Okay, so we're going to trigger an event. So we're, we're choosing to wander Solomon first sure. and move into shadows, triggers an event. There we go. We get plus one danger. That's it. Babis. It's, it's getting worrying about danger. <laughs> I know what they say about you in the Discord channel, and I normally defend you, but <laughs> not, not anymore. <laughs> However, the procession carries on moving. Okay. So everyone else starts wandering. Here, the slavers okay. follow suit. Awesome. Oh man, I love the slavers' whips, they're so cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need a darkness card still. This yes. was, that was all part of the, the sort of end of turn phase. Precisely. And the darkness cards say, the darkness card says, the shadow farthest from Solomon Cain moves mm -hmm. two to engage him. Okay, so he's so one two. Mm -hmm. He can move through here, or yep. sort of one two to see him either way. Yep. So put him further away. Yeah. Because I assume, well, assuming we're continuing to move. Yeah. True. However, there is no uh, further spawn ahead, so we don't spawn anything. Thankfully, there's no further spawns <laughs> ahead. Yeah, did I say however? <laughs> mm, sorry. <laughs> Just a slip of the tongue. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the end of one round. So that's three darkness cards done. We've got 11 darkness cards left to yeah. get this. Okay, so we know from the chapter card that Hasim's a vandal, so he's now going to try and start knocking this in. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've not put any more light on the staff yet. But I have, with four dice, I could potentially get up to three light on there. That's great. Yeah, it's really good. That's, and that's really, actually, I just realized. So like, we like the virtues kind of empowering that staff with the holy <laughs> light to kind of ready Solomon yeah. for whatever yeah. is going to come out. Okay, I love it. So I feel like you should go last, and me and Baba should maybe supply you with dice to do the light. Sounds really good. Is that, have we got enough time? What's going to happen in two turns? No, do you know what? Don't say. Let's go with that plan. <laughs> I'm okay to go last. I, I'm fine with that. What do you think, Dale? Are you, do um, you want to go first or second? I, w I, do, I still want to get your explorer, though, to try and get us yes. I do not want to be still bound uh -huh. whenever whatever happens. I'm going to try my very best. On that basis, I'll, I'm going to go first again. Yeah. Maybe spawn prudence and then give one dice to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sounds yeah. Good. We also have the, the ah. communal cards with, with Curry. So she has an explorer three on her card. Um, she has some fights, and she has place of courage, and she has plus one strength as well. So, mm -hmm. some options there. Yeah. Okay. Let's begin with prudence. Mm -hmm. Bit of everything. I've got faith, danger, and bravery. Mm -hmm. What would be good for you, Babis? Anything. I'm all about bravery and fear myself. Deal. You can also go for an explore check to ah, test yes. your own, uh, of yourself. Just using the, the latent yeah. ability? I think I should do that. Keep that in mind. So do one explore and donate two. Mm -hmm. Bravery oh. would be ideal, or fear, bravery. Or I'm going to donate uh, fear to you, okay. and, and bravery, bravery to you. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do my own exploration. Okay, so using the tied hands action, so again, this starts at explore zero, doesn't have any uh, yeah. starting position like your ones have those. Um, so what's our test then at the minute? So we've got zero, Four. Oh yes, yeah. Minus one. So we've got three. a three. And nothing from, from clarity. Yeah. And we're looking for a twelve. <laughs> so three plus four is seven. Seven. Okay. So we're still we still haven't broken free, but that's now a third. We're it's a plus six on next time. Come on, Solomon. <laughs> get your act together and get out of there, son. Right, so I'm flipping my token. Now mm -hmm. Vandal activates before Wanderer. Okay. So we remove one expiration token. So when the Vandal's in a space with an expiration token, it removes one. Mm -hmm. Simple. Yeah. And now all the wanderers move, move. towards us. Sure. Oh no! <laughs> I no, I don't want to be there. <laughs> they all want to see what's going to happen. I don't want to be there when whatever happens happens. <laughs> I'm envisioning. Um, like I'm not gonna lie. I know the story, right? But I, what I'm envisioning is like you know the way the, the mirrors bounce off the lights yeah. and all the tombs <laughs> and stuff, and it's just like they open it, and it's just like, and they're like, oh, they're all right there, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> horribleness. Um, okay. So I've got my darkness card. Yeah. You want to do it, Babas? Sure. Mm -hmm. It would be my pleasure, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so the shadow closes to Solomon Cain, moves yeah. two to engage him. I can get out, really. He is two away as well. Mm -hmm. So if we want to hear the second one in his space, triggering mm -hmm. event. And the event says, one virtue discards all dice from reserve. 
that you would don't be mean. Mm. But we get and we get a minus one strength. I don't think we say so but we but get, like, but it's okay as we also <laughs> lose some strength. We're now down to five strength, six clarity, seven compassion, oh and dear. six danger. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any future spawns. Okay. See how my hand was shaking when mm -hmm. I announced Damn that. It. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, so it's me. Yep. Temperance. So bravery, determination, uh, bravery, pain, and faith. What? You Basically, I think I got all wow. that I need. In one right? roll? Yeah. Oh, oh, you had, oh, you had the bravery donated, of course. Oh, I still need a determination. Mm. Oh no. Let me try. You gonna reroll? Yes. Determination or, or faith? Or, I can actually flip that die, and have explore three. Explore there's three also, there's also the Explore 3 from Courage up there, too. What does Courage know? <laughs> <laughs> Besides, this, Temperance. Is, this, is, this is just from, uh, for my personal yep. use. So if you think it's going it to do well. it, then clearing that card out for you would be... Yeah. We do have six um, on the tight hands card. Three is yeah, nine. So nine. So nine is going to be good. So I'm going to flip that die over okay. to that face. Yeah. Here and here. Hmm? And I rolled that, didn't yeah. I? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna donate that to us. Uh, okay, just take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for yet, but all right. So that's that's me, guys. Explore three. Okay, so six here, so that's nine. Nine. No bonuses from auras, no bonuses from the track, and Something no shadows nine. nearby, so it's nine plus the event. Three. Oh, <laughs> twelve. Well, so exactly right for twelve. So if we get twelve or more, Solomon has broken free. We get plus one strength. Good. Yeah, up to six, and we discard this card. So I give you those. Thank you. So essentially, now we can fight or move by getting rid yes. of this. Um, so we've yeah, enabled us to kind of take up arms. Perfect. Can I just oof Hasim now <laughs> on the side of the head? Like, don't do it. <laughs> we, got, we got good news uh -huh. because we've actually achieved our objective. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, we have. Um, so Solomon came broken free, so we have to reveal seven o six. Is this the end? That would be awesome. Oh man, can I just like seem <laughs> out of here? <laughs> Boom. A Puritan's curiosity. No, Solomon. While Solomon may have freed himself, his curiosity overcomes him. The tomb in front of them seems to house something ominous and he has to set things right. Solomon Cain has a new goal and the goal objective is find out what's going on in the mausoleum. Solomon, why not just let evil be locked up? Some would say that you can hear footfalls within. <laughs> I don't know if I have time in editing to add a sound effect there, but <laughs> assume there was one. <laughs> so that, yeah, so this is essentially if we had it, man, if we hadn't broken free before this had gone wrong, this could be so much worse. And even though we have broken free now. Solomon is not letting the virtues kind of guide him. He's not like, no, no, I'm curiosity is not a virtue. It's yeah. like a <laughs> precisely. It's we great. all know how Solomon can interact to situations as this. How you interact with darkness, for sure. True. Um, okay. That um, that's annoyed me as a player, but I love it from a story <laughs> perspective. That that being said, we all of us can actually hear the cracking of the lock just now, because I've just finished my turn, and that Hasim guy act. is actually hitting that lock and yep. breaks it okay like that at that point mm -hmm. the vandal trade is triggered so vandal we have to look at discovery 708 for Asim again this is dictated by the chapter card for this particular story oh, man. Seriously. the red horror I mean, not gonna lie, knew it was coming. I just didn't think it was gonna come this way that was quick man replace the expiration token with the red horror off screen. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. What you don't put your back, back out. <laughs> so, well, let me work out. So, oh, we need to move all miniatures on the red horror space to adjacent spaces. Now, do we get to choose or? Yes. Okay. Um, I want to put the slavers like in kind of the back corners. I want. I want. I want Solomon to protect the slaves. Okay. Um, we, we can do that. So do you want Solomon to be placed here, there, or back there? Uh, he, can't, he can't go here, can he? Because it's not adjacent, is it? It is. Mm -hmm. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, there is good. Mm -hmm. like, I like that. With the slaves, right? Yeah, at least, yeah, split the slaves up a little bit, maybe? 
Yeah. Like that? Yeah, oh, and then we've got two here. Oh no, yeah. oh, they're so, not. Oh yeah, yes, they're the not. one we're moving. What about what about Yusuf? I want Yusuf. We've we've kind of communed with a little. I want him somewhere as safe as possible. Okay. Yep, with us is good. What about the big guy? I want him <laughs> right in Dangerville. Um, okay, so beside yeah. his lucky, right? Yeah, I want him in Nom Town. <laughs> let, <laughs> Go on. Me, let me reverently uh, put it here. Oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> okay. It doesn't even fit. Yeah. <laughs> He's amazing. Okay, so we have some, some fight actions. If we want to fight him, it'll tell us what kind of actions we're going to have. All miniatures now lose Wanderer. The procession is over, <laughs> clearly. Um, Yusef and all the Arab slavers become cards. So yeah. We've seen that before in the Skulls and the Stars. What does that mean as a reminder? So basically, a coward will seek to move towards the nearest exit. Okay. And that is the edge of the board. Mm -hmm. So essentially, they're going to try and nip away. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Into the, into the forest again and get out. <laughs> okay. And um, we also have four wound tokens need to be put on the red horror. So how much damage do we have to do to this thing? Essentially five. Okay. So we need to deal four damage to remove those four uh, wound tokens and then the final damage Take to remove the mm -hmm. miniature itself. Oh man, we now have a literal ton of discovery cards that are about to come out, which I'm sure is not any good thing at all. So we need 709. And we need 710, and we already have 707. So because fine. in his cowardice, Yusuf actually threw the stuff down. He let okay. it fall. Got you. So, so by us talking to him earlier, we got it ahead of time, which kind of gave us this light. So we kind of... Mm -hmm. Exactly. So now Solomon physically has the stuff now in so, the story. Uh, see, now I'm wondering if we had talked to Hasim, could we have kind of stopped him or slowed him down or slowed down his vandalism somewhat? But it's, I like that we had the stuff early. You need to play it again? Uh, <laughs> So, the Slayer of Monsters. Um, discard 706 if it's in play. I don't think we popped it into play yet. Um, is it one of these? It's this one. It's this, this one? one. Oh, yes. Oh, because, yes, we now know what's going on in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, we don't need that as a goal anymore. We now have a new goal. And the new goal, quite simply, is destroy the Red Horror once and for all. And this gives us another set of actions where we can use three dice, uh, a faith, a bravery, and a determination to place a light on the staff. Okay, so clearly the staff is going to be what we really need. Yeah. We've also got strength of fear. When a player rolls a fear on their dice, the red horror feats off it, stealing and storing it on this card. The red horror has plus one on its next fight test per dice in this card. Those dice are discarded at the end uh, after each red horror's attacks. Whenever the red horror moves, it pushes all miniatures one space backwards. So this is whenever we have a really true nemesis, they usually have a special rule, and this is the red exactly. horror. Mm -hmm. um, so. It oh. feeds off our fear. So if any one of us roll a fear, I have a bunch of actions that use fear. <laughs> you need to use faith instead. Instead of fear. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> um, right, that's brutal. That was all part of the kind of end of turn wonder phase. So yeah, it was the end of the, of the Vandals. So now... It also attacks us. Yeah, oh, it attacks us. I'm sorry, I didn't <laughs> yeah. finish reading the Red Horror card. The Red Horror, horror attacks by drawing 7, 12. Is it going to challenge us to a duel? Is it going to have an arm wrestling match? <laughs> it would win with all those arms. <laughs> uh, with horrendous ferocity, the horror grabs and rips at all around it, gathering assailants into its mass and thrusting them towards their doom. Remove one adjacent mortal miniature from the board. I want to kill Hasim. Hasim, can I? Can sure, we? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Ha right. Hashtag. I'm happy. I don't care what happens now. <laughs> Story enthusiasts will feel like it because yeah. Hasim was the first one to actually die in its claws. Mm -hmm. That's wicked. Bravo. That makes me so happy. Just, just a note. Uh, as we have already explained in previous videos, and we have also seen in Skulls in the Stars, when we elect, when we choose Solomon Kane to be destroyed, mm -hmm. uh, he loses one strength. And that's okay. it. So, yeah, he doesn't get discarded just easily. Like so, we that. could potentially kind of have Solomon be the target to protect the slayers, for example. Like, there might be, because, like, like, for example, with the Gideon, when you've got a traveler, you need to protect the traveler. Yeah. Although, in this case, our only goal is the horror. Yeah. Solomon's not so much interested. I'm afraid in. that this is not a moment of compassion. This is a moment <laughs> of yeah. light versus dark. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Through. <laughs> Through? I haven't heard that word before yeah. in the game. Throw one adjacent mortal miniature two spaces towards the nearest wall. If their movement is stopped by a wall, remove them from the board. He's about to like backhand squish someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Choose one. 
any adjacent. Any. So, so it's basically any model any, at all. Any model. It's slaver. It yeah, like so that slaver <laughs> gets thrown to the opposite wall and then gets squished mm -hmm. like a bug. Do you know what? I'm on board with the red horror right now. <laughs> this is all good. Um, Welcome to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Move the red horror one uh, space towards Solomon. Oh, okay. Oh. So we're going to get pushed back. Mm -hmm. so, uh, do we choose? Yeah, we do. Um, I. I don't. I would like I to. I would like to see Solomon come over here, so we don't get backed up into a corner, maybe. Okay. So red horror is going to come to this space, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to kind of shimmy this way. Should we set sleeves mm -hmm. away, and we'll go with Yusuf this way? Mm -hmm. Sounds sure. good. Yeah. Bring that here. And then what we have now is a new set of tests for the Red Horror. Now, something that you guys mentioned to this to me before, so I was aware of what was going to be happening with the Darkness cards. And um, the Red Horror has a fight. When we attack him, we can kind of compare to his tests, and usually we kind of have a similar thing for the standard fight deck. But because this is a huge nemesis and he has his own special rules and everything, we have two different tests. Now, we have the Red Horror's test when he hits us, and then we have the test when we hit him, um, which makes me really worried because it means he's far more capable of doing stuff that we would never humanly be capable Absolutely. of doing. So it's kind of cool that we're going to have this chunky discovery deck for a real yeah. intimate yeah. combat. Intimate combat is the wrong word for that thing. <laughs> Calling this <laughs> intimate is not, not really what I, I want meant to we do. Definitely have, we will be definitely having some intimate moments with that monster, to uh, be yeah, honest. We'll be having them with us, I feel. Um, okay, so that was all part of the Vandal uh, has yeah. seen opening the door, just got nommed alive. The Red yeah. Horror comes out, moves into our space, and has just kind of knocked everybody yeah. all over the place. But now cowards run for their life. Okay. So, y Yusef yeah. has to move here, okay. just to move out. Mm -hmm. And the slavers mm -hmm. might disperse. Now what about the slaves? They're not, they didn't go into card. Sadly, according to the story, mm -hmm. the slaves remain there bound, oh. unable to move, let alone escape. That's horrendous. Yeah, so are we going to oh. defend them or not? Yeah, hell yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's our, uh, our primary intention. Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that sleever up there, actually. So now we have a darkness card. Yes, but can, that, can that sleever run out the back? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, because that's, no. that's... But he needs to move, because yeah. we've forgotten about him. So he moves there. Okay. To the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. gotcha. Oh my word, what an entrance. <laughs> what an entrance. <laughs> okay. So and a darkness card. A darkness card. Okay. One shadow or hunter, and we all know that we have to activate that hunter There's because no it's a nemesis. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, engages an adjacent mortal. Okay. For three. This is the good point, this is the good part, where we actually get to choose mm -hmm. which miniature to be attacked by the Red Horror. Don't make me choose. Don't make <laughs> me do it. Dale? <laughs> Don't make me do it. It has to be one of the slaves, unfortunately. It is what it is. Unless we take the hit, but... We need to defeat the Red Horror, so... I'm not, I'm not involved in this. <laughs> I, I, I'm abstaining from this boat. <laughs> Shall we say this, this guy over here? Ooh, no, cool he guy. was one day away from retirement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the Red Horror attacks with for three. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are no shadows adjacent to the target. Yep. There are no uh, extra modifiers from okay. the danger. Yep. That would be three. Yep. And he has no fear. He has no fear. Uh, plus, uh, so as far as optimal range is concerned, the red horror gets a plus one if okay. it attacks an, uh, a miniature adjacent to it. Because his tentacles are the perfect length for scooping. Precisely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So we get it. I'm not taking. I'm not taking. Oh, he's got. A, he's got to actually hit, right? Okay. Yeah. So it it has three mm -hmm. plus one four. Yeah. And new nemesis modifier. Ooh. And a five for nine. Nine. So looking at his card, so this is this, so he's going to get a seven one five from the discovery deck. So this, so yeah, so he's not just we've picked the target as the sleeve, but he's not just mushing him. He's actually going to do something. Yeah. Uh, a roar most foul. One of the red horror's many mouths opens in a ghastly shriek as it whirls its heaving mass towards an attacker. Oh. Place one fear onto the red horror card equal to the number of virtue players. Oh, you had that. <laughs> 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 You're the worst, man. Um, and throw one adjacent mortal miniature two spaces towards the nearest wall. If their movement is stopped, yeah. they get smusherated. So sadly, it squishes that mm -hmm. sad. Uh, 
So he'll guy go over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, man. And then we have again, we have as the fight evolves, we now have new tests to see yeah. what potential outcomes will be. And he has three, which means his next fight will be plus three. It's mm -hmm. going to be yeah, yeah. difficult. But here, have some dice now that you've just donated fear <laughs> to the horror. <laughs> so carrying on, okay. we also we don't have any shadow spawn there, right? No. Nope. Okay, we get to spawn shadow at the spawning point Z. There you go, buddy. Thank you very much. Wow, that's a grim picture. That really is. Oh okay. Yeah. That was a horrendous end of turn. That was like <laughs> that was just me. everything mm -hmm. happened there. And but finally, we're going to get a chance to react. And what do we now want to do? Indeed. My original plan was to try and put light on cards. Yeah. Is that still Let's the plan? still do that. Yeah. Um, yes, please. Okay. So essentially, we're going to rely on the staff to build up our tests and hopefully get a really solid strike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, is it still the case that when you fight normal villains and, and nemesis and, and things, if you if you double the, the test, do you do extra damage or anything like that? Is that still is that being play tested around, or is it now kind of the discovery deck kind of just tells? Not you anymore. It? The discovery deck will uh, will narrate any special moments okay. such mm -hmm. as critical hits and. Okay. So we, we I openly say we need like a seven to get one outcome, and eight to nine is another, or an eleven. Uh, sorry, that. 10 or more for this one? 11. 11 or more for that one, okay. So we want to get a, a strong test. Yeah. And that's going to help us get a strong test. Okay. So I've got a fear. I really need some bravery and determination. I got the George Michael. <laughs> the faith, faith, faith. Yeah. That is really not fantastic. It's going to mean I can do one thing. Go ahead. Let's pause that. Can I take away set as well, please? Actually. No, no, I'm not. No, no. What did you say? Can I take a sip as well, please? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you just squirt yourself in your eye. Yeah. Are you okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep being encouraged, Dan. Mm, yeah. 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 That would be good. Okay. So for me. What I'm thinking is that I still go with one of the light options, so I either go with the place two light and lose a compassion, or place one light without losing anything. And the other three dice I basically use to bring courage on the board to help us fight. That sounds good. Does that sounds work? Good. Yeah. Which I, I'm, I feel like the plus two light. So four would get us with the staff of Solomon by kind of charging it up. With holy energy would get us plus one to our fight, and five would get us plus two, or is that plus? Two plus or plus three? Plus three. So each it's one, each, okay. Mm -hmm. Then yes, I'm absolutely mm -hmm. on that. So let me uh, allocate a fear. <gasps> no, it's a fear. Oh no, that's, that was no, donated. That was yeah. before, yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, I had a proper moment there. Um, so I'll take the donated fear, which the horror can't have, and a wild for this, and then I'll use the other three over on the place courage on the board action, which is just going to be a one-off thing because courage is not in the game, and then that'll be expelled yeah. from the game, basically. Um, so compassion will go down by one. And we will get two light. Uh, can I have two light onto sure. the staff, please? So one away well. from starting to improve our fights. Love it. And that'll get discarded. And then I will place courage. Where do we want courage to go? Are we going? Are we thinking the fight's going to stay in the tomb? Possibly. Because if we are, to me, somewhere like here would make sense because it's kind yeah, of connected yeah. mm -hmm. to everything. Yeah, Whereas if we were going to lead it outside, then you know maybe. We don't know how the red horror will behave, mm -hmm. but basically, I kind of want to get away from walls. <laughs> I, <wanna laughs> just, I just want to want to run out this direction so he can't smush us against things. It's difficult because we're in a walled courtyard. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah you really can't get far enough. Even even if you're at this direction, it's hard to get far enough away from the mm -hmm. tomb. Yeah. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that. If you guys are, yeah, it's pretty. I'm I, I where the shadows there though, um, and I don't really want courage to get taken out, and I don't really want the danger to go up. So uh, we have to take that risk. Okay, all right, so you're fine with that. Um, so I need to pop a new card down from my hand. Another place I light or moving of Solomon. I think are probably the two choices I like. It's good to what be flexible. I, w I would suggest having a move action. What okay. do you, what do the you other do thing you? is I have one light here and if I had a second light, that's potentially the last two light we need to kind of charge up the staff. But it gets activated with two fear. Oh, it yeah. gets activated with two yeah. fear. Which means that's basically unplayable unless you guys donate to me. No, well, two. two oh yeah. We can we, use two we, we can do that. So this right now, using fear to empower abilities, is not possible. An option, no, because the monster 
feeds off. Of, we, we can of still fear. do it via donated, but it's going to be difficult. No, because you need two wilds for it. You can't use two wilds. You can only ever use one. Ah, so even donated. That's. Even that's <laughs> what happens if you flip a bravery into fear? Does it get scooped up? Yeah. Still, you have that option to actually place a light. But oh yeah, by the communal one. Okay, so. I'll go with the movement. I'll draw mm -hmm. myself a new card. Yeah, sorry, I got really into like the, <laughs> the strategy there, and that's that's brutal. See, sometimes not even the virtues Oops. can overcome darkness itself. I like the idea that using fear to power our abilities right now is really, really difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I get flipped. We're going to have to have cards acting. Yeah, mm -hmm. running for their lives. Okay. So Yusuf goes here. Mm -hmm. Got the sleeves. sleeves go the sleeve doesn't sleeve. move on oh, this, oh yes no of course not the sleeve bird will move mm -hmm. but the sleeve unfortunately is paralyzed in fear mm -hmm. okay damn these guys getting away yeah, that's I know. infuriating yeah, I, know, me. I know i know <laughs> it, le it leaves off a bad impression yeah. that uh, evil actually wins in the end right um, that survives then we have a darkness card sure mm -hmm. okay <laughs> sure <laughs> let's see what happens okay a hunter mm -hmm. such as a red horror engages an adjacent mortal should we say that as a karma, yeah. Kill this guy. Do not let him get away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so engages the adjacent mortal for three, which okay. means three plus. Plus the three, three, then kind of get removed yeah. from mm -hmm. here. Six. No nemesis modifier. No nemesis modifier. So six plus the nemesis event. And and plus one for the uh, adjacent. Adjacent. Oh yeah, for the ideal range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's seven. Seven. Oh my god. Start. Well, um, smushing smushing lots. Oh. It's a one for an eight. See the slaver got lucky. <laughs> he did. Um, so in this case, we have to go to seven twelve, which actually can essentially brings us back to I say normality, basically. <laughs> so remove one adjacent mortal miniature from the board. He's removed. Get him right there. Get him there. He got what he deserved. Um, we then throw one adjacent mortal miniature two spaces towards the nearest wall. Uh, it has to be nearest wall. Uh, don't let me. Don't let me say it. <laughs> don't let me say it. Yeah. It has to be. It has to be someone else. Or ourselves. Mm -hmm. Smush it. Smush a sleeve. I would say the furthest one. I would say the furthest <laughs> one because I can't see him properly <laughs> from that point. So <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, then we are going to move the red horror one space towards Solomon. Okay. So uh, this is a good question. Yeah. Where do we want to move now? Outside or in the courtyard? To be adjacent ah, to the courage? Well, yeah, we need, I think placing car is there kind of mm -hmm. made that decision mm -hmm. for us. Yeah. I want to stay near. So, okay. It would have been interesting to fight it outside, but next to Courage is the best place. Well, maybe we don't want to let it outside. Maybe we want to keep it enclosed True. in this tomb, uh, keep distracting, because if it goes in the outside world, it might find out about ice cream and mm -hmm. nice, cuddly things and <laughs> want to live in New York and start a career as a writer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is getting worse. <sighs> right, so and, and yet we haven't had an opportunity to strike it. So I, I kind of want to hit it just to see what happens. Um, <laughs> However, we also got a new shadow spawning. Where? On Z. Oh, oh, why? Is that's, oh. <laughs> that's really bad. So we're at negative two, mm -hmm. and they could both jump on our faces yeah. any second. Okay. What's more, it will also get a plus two when it attacks any of those miniatures because they are adjacent to shadows. Yay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. New round? Mm -hmm. New round. What's the priority? Charge up our holy weapon uh, and attack it. I would say as well. I really want to. I want to just stab it with something. So I have one light here that only requires a bravery and determination. So that's potentially likely. Yeah. Um, I have a fight based on two bravery. Fight zero, <laughs> mind. But there's a fight one with courage, yeah, which is a bravery and determination. An that's extra good. one could make the difference. I can use it too. I know this yeah. might sound bad, but I kind of want to leave the fighting until the shadows have. Uh, yeah, engaged us yeah, to lose true. that but yeah. then that's we're seeing that the minis are getting taken off the board super fast and eventually we're not yeah. going to have anything as a buffer so I think the maximum we can wait is like one maybe two turns before we have to say right now fighting we need to overcome this thing can we really wait though because the monster will be attacking us relentlessly the red horror is no I'm, easy I'm, attack I'm feeling like I might go first again and hopefully these shadows um, pop on us mm -hmm. so when you guys attack um, you don't have that negative modifier. The only fight I have would be would be Courage's fights. Mm -hmm. I do have a light here though. Light's always good. Um, yeah. I can I can use that just to do something in my t on my turn. Yeah, well, I'm good. so first, second, third. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. No ideal. No fear. Empire us prudence. No fear. 
Yeah. No fear. Nice. Pen. Well, when you said when you said no fear, my brain didn't make the connection straight away, and then as soon as you rolled it, I went, oh yeah, no, please don't roll fear. <laughs> you know what, Dale? You can also put one light there. No. Oh, just do that. Yeah. That is perfect. So it's a faith, a bravery, and determination to use the, the sort of Slayer of Monsters ability for Solomon himself, really, to kind of start channeling that light. Um, I'm all for that. I'm definitely going to do that. Perfect roll, man. There you go. So now we're up to plus one fight for any tests with Solomon. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's magnificent. And now um, I flip my token and cowards activate. Yeah, so Yusuf runs to the hills. <laughs> <laughs> this slaver is going to get off the board here and away. Yeah. And this slaver is going to move on to here and very much nearly be away as well. And now we have a darkness and ho I'm hoping one of the shadows pops on us. This, which, is, which this is, is the one time I actually would like to yeah. see the shadows, yeah. Sadly, Why is that? there are no shadows <laughs> and no hunters. Oh, that's okay. Us. I'll take However, that. there is a new shadow spawning at Y. At Y. Mm -hmm. Here you go, buddy. Oh, I'll, nah, I'll let you reach over. Oh. Thank you. If I stick, everyone gets to see white eyes on camera. <laughs> Ooh. I'm also going to discard That's one it. of my cards at the end of my turn. Because you didn't play Ex either. Exactly. Yeah. You discarded the... Modify any st stat track by one. Why? Because it requires four dice okay. and I don't have any reserve okay. coordinated, so it's going to be difficult for me to do that. Okay, all right. Um, and I'm going to place... Place two light. Okay. Okay. Very happy with that. So currently strength is still six, clarity is six, and compassion is six. Danger is also six, I just realized all four are six. <laughs> so as long as danger doesn't hit 11 or any of the other three tracks get to zero, we're still okay. Okay. So it's your turn out. Easy peasy. I just need to roll a bravery and determination, and we've got five uh, light on the staff, and then it's going to be good game, it's going to be great times. It's why are be you rolling two dice? I don't know why I'm rolling two dice. Shush. shush. He's scared on <laughs> I am. Oh. That's okay, that works. So I will take this uh, pin and flip it into determination, mm -hmm. which will give me what I need for the light, and that will give me a uh, pin left over. Any use to you? Uh, I, I don't. I could reserve it, but. Okay. Can we use. There's a fight three over here. Perfect. It's all you, buddy. Thank you. So I'll use a while for the bravery and a determination for this place one light. There you go. See? Not even a moment's concern. So we have plus three mm -hmm. to fights now. The staff is fully charged. Um, so I'm going to take on an explorer talk, just in case an opportunity comes up. And I've got another talk, that's cool. So this guy's going off the board. Mm -hmm. yeah. <sighs> like he's like, he's taunting me, he's like going <laughs> right at me, be like, hey, hey guys, I got away. So cool. Okay. Now, one hunter engages an adjacent mortal for three. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone on live there now? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you can't see that thing. It's amazing. Yeah. No, it, it is us and those two slaves that we are. Okay, so hopefully he'll be attacking somebody else yeah. mm -hmm. rather than ourselves, mm -hmm. right? So he attacks with three. Yeah. So for me, I want to just ensure that we end up in a position where we're adjacent to him we're adjacent to courage as well if possible because right now we have the staff sitting ready for a plus three if courage can give us a plus two that's a plus five yeah. we're sitting adjacent to her so but what's he whatever he's about to do with this card is what i'm yeah. worried about so his base attack is three okay the optimal range adds, adds a plus one to equally and we have to pick a target yeah. right so so if he attacks it. this slave then he's got three plus one four yeah. Plus two for the those shadows. shadows adjacent yep. to him. Six. Yep. No fear available. So six plus a nemesis number. That's a four. So it's ten. Up to a ten. Oh man, that's going to be a new discovery card. He's getting angry or hungry. Or maybe he's going to go for a nap. Maybe he's done eating people <laughs> and he's actually going to go and just have a rest. Fear incarnate. Guess not. Daggers and rapiers bend and skew at the mercy of the horror's hardened mass of flesh and bone. Cain feels the cold fingers of fear claw at his brain. Place one fear onto the red horror card for each adjacent mortal miniature. There are three currently adjacent. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, thanks, Babish. You prepared, right. you prepared those for us, buddy. <laughs> Throw one adjacent mortal miniature two spaces towards the nearest wall. Smashing against oh. the wall. Oh. And then again, we have a new set of fight tests. I don't want to see what else comes out from his deck. So essentially, he's building up his yeah. mass before he's still getting ready to attack us. That evil darkness card wasn't that bad. 
No, it, it gets even worse. What? One. <laughs> <laughs> So one shadow adjacent, right, yeah, yeah. engages yeah. an adjacent mortal. Yeah, so he's going to come in. So let's say this yes, one. Yes, yeah, I'm fine with that. Pops on us. Oh, God. So you good. said still, like, as it, as it, like, still, that wasn't that bad. Like, that's how high that. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I can't hide it. You rub it I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. So all virtues discard one donated dice. Uh, your. Oh, yeah. Determination. Oh, yeah. Pain, sorry. One virtue discards their left hand action card. So place temperance on board. Place two light. light. Place light. Explore or talk. So because we have maximum light, I think we can get rid Front of this light. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's fine. And we carry on with that. Spawn X. Uh, wait down here, I got it. Okay. <sighs> that was hilarious. <laughs> that was quite eventful. That was okay though. That's yeah. I mean, we still got so one shadow nearby, but we have we are ready now to fight. We've taken. I'm, I'm kind of part of me wanted to start fighting to see what we could start because we've only seen his attack so far. I wanted to start to see what we could do to him. Yeah. But now we spent all this time charging up. I'm hoping that we can just start end it quickly. Let's find out. So you're trying to get courage's fight, or do you have a fight yourself? I I can't fight myself, so I'd rather have. So she has fight. so courage here is a fight of three, which requires uh, bravery and a pain Good. and a minus one strength. Or you can have a fight at one, which is a bravery and determination. I'd rather have the fight three, did you say? Or you can fight at five. You can fight at five, Alice. Oh. So you've yeah. got, yeah? yeah? So you can fight at five, minus one strength, pain, determination, and bravery. That's great. That's fantastic. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. So we reduce our strength by one. Okay, so we're expanding this card. This card yeah. is gone for the game, for, for the, the whole length of this act. Yeah, so we got five. Yeah. Plus one per optimal range distance. Okay. Six. Yeah. Plus two from Courage's aura. Can't even see her behind the red horror. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There she is. Hello. <laughs> other way, other way. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, so six. six. No, no. So five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Minus one for the shadow. Seven. Plus, plus three. three for the fully charged staff. Ten. Ten. Before we take a nemesis number. We've mustered our courage. She's whispering to our ear. Mm -hmm. We have our stuff fully charged. Mm -hmm. Do it. Let me see what number is. Six. Six. Sixteen. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so the red horse card says on eleven or higher we get D seven one nine. Oh, dude, it's the last card. <laughs> dude, it's the last card for this. Ah, the power within. Sensing the great power held within the staff, Solomon focuses his will upon it and casts an energy towards the horror lumbering towards him. The staff responds to Solomon's purity and a flash of energy spurts towards the monster. Deal one damage to the red horror equal to the number of light tokens on the staff card. Five? That's five damage. Is that him? Yeah. Just wipes him out. Mm -hmm. <gasps> That's so cool. We would also, we would also get an extra... Uh, bravery to charge up the, like, the staff more and we've discarded his fear by overcoming him with yeah. light so that's really cool so if we had attacked early we might have done two maybe three maybe four yeah. to him mm -hmm. yeah but because we waited for the best result until this got five exactly. we just one shot him down yeah mm -hmm. which is epic. which is exactly what happens in the books yeah what happens in the story in the actual story that was wicked and we saved the slave <laughs> yes the slave. yes <laughs> i'm gonna call him john john the slave we're taking them home. That's amazing. John the Free. <laughs> John the Free. Yeah. Oh, dude, that was epic. We did all right. That went pretty well. Yeah. That went really well. I mean, we've played this numerous times, Babis mm -hmm. and I, and we've only killed it in one shot yeah. once before. Yeah. So it's pretty rare. Feel, feel privileged, guys, to witness <laughs> that. That was awesome. Cool. Well, look, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, I'll take a second to quickly remind you guys, you know, please comment below with what you, what you think of the game, obviously. It's still developing. There's rules and new things being thrown in all the time. We'd love to know what your thoughts are on this. Um, the game on, on Game on Tabletop, you can find the Solomon Game Pledge Manager. If you backed it, please go complete your pledge so we can ensure that it gets shipped to you. It's so important that we get as many of you to complete your pledges as possible so we can ensure that we get the game to you guys. Um, if you haven't backed it, you can also check out the late pledge there. Everything that was available 
on the Kickstarter is available on the late page as well. And again, what you're seeing here is just a, a prototype of what we're working on. We'll show more and more of the minis, more and more of the game development and of the tiles as we produce them as we go out through the campaign. So um, don't worry about that. If you have any questions, you can catch us on Facebook at Mythic Games, get us on YouTube at the Mythic Games as well, or come over to the Kickstarter page and let us know in your comments there. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. I'm very happy. We'll see you guys soon. See you see soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.